How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be ranking every Transformers film ever from the first Transformers film to Bumblebee. Um, if you have not yet seen my review for Bumblebee, definitely go check that out. I did state in that video that me personally, I'm not a big fan of these movies. I never was. I just never really got into the Transformers films. I don't think they're good movies. I do like a couple of the movies, and you will see which ones I kind of like in this list. But yes, for me personally, I'm just not a giant fan. But anyway, let's get into the ranking. You better have insurance. Insurance? It's a freaking spaceship. You go get insurance on a freaking spaceship. Good luck with that, buddy. Is your car? Huh? Sweetie, hand me my alien gun. Coming in at number six is Age of Extinction. Um, this movie is completely terrible. It is easily one of the worst films I have ever seen in the theaters. Um, there's not one good thing about this movie. Not at all. Like, like there's physically not one good thing about the movie. It is completely terrible. Um... And yeah, I absolutely hate this movie. And yeah, there's not really much to say about it just because it's just, it's not good at all. Yeah, that's why it's coming in at number six. Now coming in at number five, I'm going to be putting The Last Night. This movie is just as bad as Age of Extinction. The only reason why it's at number five and not number six is because it's shorter. <laughs> And I appreciate that. I appreciate that this movie is shorter than five. So I do appreciate that it is shorter. But yeah, there's really nothing good about this movie either. It is really just a overblown pile of garbage. And I will never watch it again in my entire life. It's just very overblown. And I just don't like it at all, really. I'd say the only good thing about the movie is... Um, at times, it can be visually like, very pleasing at times. And there are moments that, like, it is kind of entertaining, especially towards the end. But other than that, this movie is trash. It's not good at all. And that's why it's coming in at number five. So coming in at number four, we got Revenge of the Fallen. Um, this movie was a huge disappointment. Um, Again, this movie isn't good, like, at all. But the reason why, like, it's at number four is because it is entertaining at times. It is actually very funny to watch. And I do enjoy it because it's just so bad, it's actually kind of funny. So that's why I put it at number four. Just so many scenes that are just so bad. Like, it's, it's entertaining to watch. But as a movie standpoint, it is completely terrible. It's not good at all. And yeah, but now coming in at number three, we have Dark of the Moon. Um, this is easily the third best Transformers film in my opinion. I mean, this came out after Revenge of the Fallen. So going into Dark of the Moon, I had really low expectations after Revenge of the Fallen. So I think that's why I appreciate this movie a bit. But it's still not that good of a movie, like at all. It's it, it is okay at best it's watchable um but dark of the moon is not that good of a movie i just appreciate it be because it came after revenge of the fallen which wasn't good at all and it is before four and five That's why dark of the moon is at number three just because i appreciate it a bit and it's not as bad as the others coming in at number two we got the first transformers um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. When I was a kid, I loved this movie. This was my jam as a kid. I absolutely loved the first Transformers. But as I've gotten older, um, I have realized, again, it's not the best movie, but it's still a very entertaining movie, and I do enjoy it quite a bit. A big flaw that I have with this movie, um, kind of like all of the other Transformers movies, is there are so many side plots. There are like 10 side plots just happening all at once, and you're just like, what is going on? And I do hate that about this movie, is how many side plots there are. But that is with almost every other Transformers film as well. Um, I just mentioned it to this one just because it is easily the biggest flaw with the movie is just how many side plots there are. But other than that, 
Transformers is a pretty fun action movie that I loved as a kid and I appreciate it for that. Well now we are down to my number one and it is pretty clear what it is. It is the only Transformers film not directed by Michael Bay. Thank goodness. It is directed by Travis Knight and that would be the newest film that that just came out, Bumblebee. Bumblebee is completely different from every other Transformers film. Thank God. It is not oversaturated. It is actually funny at times. It is just a very well-directed movie. Don't get me wrong. Bumblebee definitely does have flaws. And I did mention them in my review. It's not like a great movie. It is definitely a good movie though. And it is easily easily the best Transformers film. It is way different and Travis Knight understands Transformers and he understands the fan base behind Transformers. And at the end of the day, Bumblebee is a fun throwback to the 80s, very well directed. And I cannot wait to see the future of this franchise, which is something that I've been missing since the first film. I was never excited for any Transformers film until now. Bumblebee is a solid film in the franchise, and it's easily the best, but that is my ranking, guys. Um, Yeah, no shock that Bumblebee is coming in at number one. Um, Like I said, I'm not a big fan of these movies. This was my first ever ranking video, so let me know if you guys enjoyed it, and let me know how I can improve in the future, because I definitely would love to do more of these. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.